Hey guys. So here's the second part of your being a reader. This is our shared reading lesson. And today for shared reading, we are learning to read stories and your success criteria. So what you'll be able to do by the end of this lesson is you'll be able to reread familiar stories. Sometimes it's really good to revisit text, okay? Um, last week we reread some poems. So today we're gonna reread um, some of the books that we've read so far throughout this year. Um, rereading books is enjoyable and it helps us learn um, the words and help us better understand what we're reading. It also gives us a chance to see how we've grown as readers throughout the year. So um, the books that we're gonna be revisiting today are Barnyard Banter and Walking Through the Jungle. I will share my screen with you so you can see the story. out here huh all right guys so barnyard banter is a story that we have read um this year and um this book is written by denise fleming so denise fleming is the author and she's also the illustrator um this story is about a bunch of farm animals that live in different places in a barnyard all right um, what else do you guys remember about this book? Think for a moment. What do you remember about this book, Barnyard Banter? Please pause the video and discuss. Right, so there are a lot of rhyming words in this book, right? That something was about this book. Um, there was a goose that was chasing a dragonfly all over the place. And all the animals make lots of different sounds. So I'm gonna read the story and um, you guys can join in and, and the reading for any words that you maybe remember. Barnyard Banter by Denise Fleming. Barnyard Banter. Barnyard Banter by Denise Fleming. Cows in the pasture, moo, moo, moo. Roosters in the barnyard, cock a doodle do. Hens in the hen house, cluck, cluck, cluck. Pigs in the wallow, muck, muck, muck. But where's goose? Kittens in the hayloft, mew, mew, mew. Pigeons in the rafters, coo, coo, coo. Mice in the grain bin, squeak, squeak, squeak. Peacocks in the wire pen, shriek, shriek, shriek. But where's goose? Donkeys in the paddock, hee haw haw. Crows in the cornfield, caw, caw, caw. Crickets in the stone wall, chirp, chirp, chirp. Frogs in the farm palm, burp, burp, burp. But where's goose? Moo, moo, moo. Cuck, a doodle do. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Muck, muck, muck. Mew, mew, mew. Coo, coo, coo. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Shriek, shriek, shriek. Hee haw haw. Caw, caw, caw. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Burp, burp, burp. But where's goose? There's goose. Honk, honk, honk. The end. Okay, students. So we're going to read this story a few times. Next, I'd like to core or not corally read. I'd like to echo read and then we'll corally read. So we're going to echo read. Remember when we're echo reading, you're going to follow my pointer and I'll have my spotlight. Okay. And I read first. We're going to do page by page. So I'm going to read first and then you're going to echo. You're going to say the same thing after me and make sure that you follow the pointer because that'll be your cue to read. Okay. Barnyard Banter by Denise Fleming. Your turn. Barnyard Banter. Barnyard Banter by Denise Fleming. Remember, you're following, you're not saying it first, I'm saying it first, and then you're following the red dot. 
Cows in the pasture, moo, moo, moo. Roosters in the barnyard, cock, good doodle do. Hens in the hen house, cluck, cluck, cluck. Pigs in the wallow, muck, 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 but where's goose? Hope you're following along and reading. Kittens in the hayloft. Meow, meow, meow. Your turn. Pigeons in the rafters. Coo, coo, coo. Mice in the grain bin. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Peacocks in the wire pen, shriek, shriek, shriek. But where's Goose? Donkeys in the paddock, hee haw haw. Crows in the cornfield, caw, caw, caw. Crickets in the stone wall. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Frogs in the farm palm. Burp, burp, burp. But where's goose? Moo, moo, moo. Cock a doodle do. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Muck. Muck, muck, mew, 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 coo, 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 squeak, 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 shriek, shriek, shriek. Let's do that page. Hee, ha, ha, ca, 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 chirp, chirp, chirp. Burp, burp, but where's Goose? Your turn. There's Goose, honk, honk, honk. And the end. Now we're gonna chorally read. Remember, when we're chorally reading, we're reading all together in unison. So make sure you're following along with me as I'm reading and you're um, following along with the pointer. One second, students, my battery's dying. It's just like I'm really there. How often is my battery almost dying? It's like I'm really there with you. Okay, here we go. Corally reading all together in unison. All right, we can do this. Make sure you're following along and reading with me. Barnyard Banter by Denise Fleming. Barnyard Banter. Barnyard Banter by Denise Fleming. Cows in the pasture, moo, moo, moo. Roosters in the barnyard, cock a doodle do. Hens in the hen house, cluck, cluck, cluck. Pigs in the wallow, muck, muck, muck. But where's goose? Kittens in the hayloft, mew, mew, mew. Pigeons in the rafters, coo, coo, coo. 
mice in the grain bin. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Peacocks in the wire pen. Shriek, shriek, shriek. But where's goose? Donkeys in the paddock. Hee haw haw. Crows in the cornfield. Caw, caw, caw. Crickets in the stone wall. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Frogs in the farm pond. Burp, burp, burp. But where's goose? Moo, moo, moo. Cock a doodle doo. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Muck, muck, muck. Mew, mew, mew. Coo, coo, coo. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Shriek, shriek, shriek. Hee haw haw. Caw, caw, caw. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Burp, burp, burp. But where's goose? There's goose. Honk, honk, honk. Fantastic. That was great. I hope you guys were following along. Now we have one more book we're going to be reading. All right. And this book is Walking Through the Jungle. This one was a lot of fun. Remember, we did a lot of acting out in this story, Walking Through the Jungle. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to read the story first. You may chime in and follow along or read with me if you remember some of the words. Then we're going to echo read page by page, and then we'll go back and chorally read it all together in unison. As I'm reading, see if you notice anything different that maybe you didn't remember or notice the last time we read the story. Walking Through the Jungle by Julie Lacombe. Walking Through the Jungle by Julie Lacombe. Walking through the jungle, what do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Over there, a snake. Is he following me? Creeping through the jungle, what do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Grrr. Over there, a tiger. Is he following me? Stomping through the jungle, what do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Trump, Trump. Over there, an elephant. Is he following me? Leaping through the jungle, what do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Roar. Over there, a lion. Is he following me? Swinging through the jungle. What do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Chitter chatter. Over there, a monkey. Is he following me? Wading through the jungle. What do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Snap, snap. Snap, snap. Over there, a crocodile. Is he following me? Hope he isn't hungry. All right, guys, now we're gonna echo read this story. As we're echo reading, remember, you need to listen carefully to what I, and reread what I'm saying. You wanna say the same words after I read them. So I'm gonna read this page by page. And then when it's your turn, you're gonna follow this red pointer. Walking Through the Jungle by Julie Lancome. Walking Through the Jungle by Julie Lacombe. Walking Through the Jungle, what do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Make sure you're saying following the red dot. Over there, a snake. Is he following me? Creeping through the jungle, what do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? 
Grr. Oh, over there, a tiger. Is he following me? Okay. Stomping through the jungle. What do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Trump, Trump. Over there, an elephant. Is he following me? Leaping through the jungle, what do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Roar! Your turn. Over there, a lion. Is he following me? Swinging through the jungle, what do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Chitter chatter. Over there, a monkey. Is he following me? Wading through the jungle, what do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Snap, snap. Snap, snap. Over there, a crocodile. Is he following me? Hope he isn't hungry. Good. Okay, guys, now we're going to orally read the book. Remember, when we're orally reading, we're reading all together in unison at the same time. Walking Through the Jungle by Julie Lacombe. Okay, we're doing this all together. Walking through the jungle, what do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Over there, a snake. Is he following me? Creeping through the jungle. What do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Grrr. Over there, a tiger. Is he following me? Stomping through the jungle. What do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Trump, Trump. Over there, an elephant. Is he following me? Leaping through the jungle. What do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Roar. Over there, a lion. Is he following me? Swinging through the jungle. What do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Chitter chatter. Over there, a monkey. Is he following me? Wading through the jungle, what do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Snap, 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 snap. Over there, a crocodile. Is he following me? Hope he isn't hungry. Okay, guys, so, how do you think you guys did today with following the pointer and reading the same words at the same same time? And what are some things that maybe you think you still need to work on? You may please you may pause the recording to discuss your answers. 
All right, guys. So great job um, rereading those two stories. Um, it's always good to go back and revisit books that you've read to see how you've grown as a reader. Maybe some words are easier. Maybe you're noticing things that you didn't notice before. Good readers always go back and reread. Um, so in our next lesson, we're going to read two other familiar books. All right. I had a lot of fun and I'll see you soon for math.